y'all, we're going to go ahead and make some macaroni shrimp salad. Now, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how I make my shrimp, and these are peeled. So if you want to know how to do that, you can do that, or you can go to the store and get your shrimp already cooked and already seasoned, and you don't have to worry about it. So you want a box of elbow macaroni, um, cooked until packaged directions. You want four stalks of celery chopped and one large onion. So if you do not like regular onion, you can just use a pack of the green onions and that would be fine. So four stalks of celery and one large onion chopped. All right, now we're gonna need one tablespoon plus one teaspoon and this is a half a teaspoon measure of Old Bay. Then we are gonna need two teaspoons of lemon juice. And again, I'm using a half a teaspoon measure. So two teaspoons of lemon juice. You're gonna need a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. one and a half cups of mayonnaise. Here's our one cup. And you wanna get your two pounds of shrimp. You wanna make sure that they're peeled and you want to cut them into bite-sized pieces. And then here is our half a cup. And then we are going to toss this up all together. Now we're going to add in two tablespoons of French dressing. We're going to toss this together and then we're going to add in our shrimp. All right, y'all. So I have my two pounds of shrimp that we've cut up. And we're going to throw it in here. Now, you can cut back to one cup on the mayonnaise, but my noodles were still semi-warm, so it sucked up a lot. So you start out with one cup of mayonnaise, and then if you think you need a little bit more, then add it. I always start out with one, but since my noodles are warm, it kind of dried up to almost nothing. So... I'm going to go ahead and mix this up, and this is what we're going to have for dinner. We made the chicken, and I posted that video earlier, so if you're interested in that, that's the firehouse chicken. The other chicken is, actually, we just used some Southern, Out Southern Boys Outdoor Seasoning. It's an all-purpose Cajun seasoning, and we put some barbecue sauce on it. So um, if you want to get some of that, go ahead and check them out on their Facebook, Southern Boys um, on Facebook, they also have a website that you can get hunting supplies, um, you can get grills, there's tons of different stuff that they have. So give them a like and a share. So again, the video is posted for the firehouse chicken and the other one is the Southern Boys seasoning. But that's what we're going to have for dinner tonight. Give this a try. If anybody has any comments, questions, or concerns, don't hesitate to reach out. And please remember to like and share, and the link for the cookbook will be above this post and below this post. Hey, y'all, we're going to go ahead and make some shrimp today. The recipe is in our cookbook, and it is on page 28 if you have our cookbook. If you do not have our cookbook and you want to purchase our cookbook, I'll put the link above this post and below this post, and it tells you ways that you can order the cookbook. So you're going to need two beers, and this is for two pounds of shrimp. So we're gonna go ahead and put two beers inside of our pot. And then we're gonna need some apple cider vinegar as well. So we got two beers and we're gonna get one cup of apple cider vinegar. All right, y'all, so we're gonna put in four cloves of garlic, one cup of apple cider vinegar, and I have my heat on. You're going to need 
just a little bit, about six or seven peppercorns, black peppercorns. We're gonna put that in there. So we got some peppercorns in there, four cloves of garlic, one cup of apple cider vinegar, two beers, and we are gonna need a third of a cup of Old Bay. So we are gonna get this up to temperature and then we are gonna drop in our two pounds of shrimp. All right, y'all, so once your liquid came up to a rolling boil, you're gonna dump in two pounds of shrimp. And then we're gonna put the lid on and we are gonna cook these until they turn pink. So it will just be just a few minutes. All right, y'all, so they are pink. So we're gonna go ahead and we are going to take them out. We're gonna drain them and we're gonna return them to a bowl and we're gonna add two tablespoons of Old Bay to them and toss them around. All right, y'all, so just take about two tablespoons of Old Bay, sprinkle it across the top and you're gonna toss them around. And it's to your likings of how hot or spicy that you like them and there you go you can double this recipe but what I'm gonna do with this tonight is I'm gonna make macaroni shrimp salad but this is how we make our shrimp and this is also how we make our shrimp for our macaroni shrimp salad if anybody has any comments questions or concerns don't hesitate to reach out please remember to like and share the link for the cookbook will be above this post and below in the comments Give this a try and I hope everybody has a wonderful day.